This presentation is alternate day calorie restriction and will be presented in two parts. The first part, I'll summarize at the beginning here. The three conclusions are that alternate day calorie restriction in humans decreases levels of the markers of oxidative stress. It decreases markers of inflammation and it improves the clinical findings of a human disease. The second part, go ahead, Jess, decreases the days in a hospital with, a hu with human diseases and changes the mortality curve to that of a longer lifespan. Next slide. In order to assess the efficacy and the safety and the feasibility of alternate day calorie restriction, a study was done with 10 patients. They were uh, given a regime, a regimen of eating ad lib every other day but on the intervening day, they were asked to eat at 20% of normal or usual required calories. There was good adherence and good compliance. Next. I'll show you the data and statistics of the, on the results of this. Next slide. There are four variables here, cholesterol, triglyceride, triglyceride and HDL ratio in insulin. These all decreased in the study. Uh, in order to show you um, y-axis for all four variables, we use percent change from baseline. These all had different units. Uh, they all decreased during the study, these are the time uh, intervals up to eight weeks. The triglyceride HDL ratio is a most important indicator of insulin resistance. It is a surrogate indicator, not the actual indicator. This decreased uh, with statistical significance 0.02 p value. Now, you can see where it says baseline in eight weeks. So this is the difference between the beginning of the study and the end of the study. Next slide. Now, markers of oxidative stress. Nitrotyrosine is a very sensitive monitor of oxidative stress. Nitrotyrosine is a product of oxidation of nitric, nitric acid and nitrate con, uh, compounds. You see a progressive and highly significant decrease in the serum levels of nitrotyrosine. This occurred during the eight week course of the disease. This particular marker, nitrotyrosine, uh, is very helpful with, in cardiologists and in pulmonologists, and they value it highly. Now, this is a 20-fold decrease, there to there. This is less than 10% of the baseline values of nitrotyrosine, oxidative stress. Next, please, Jeff. Protein carbonyl. <clears throat> this is another marker of oxidative stress. Protein carbonyl is a um, product of protein oxidation. The magnitude of these changes in uh, oxidative stress were, were marked, were great. This is a fourfold 
decrease in the level of protein carbonyl with the alternate day calorie restriction eating plan. Next, <clears throat> eight isoprostane, prostane, is a uh, marker of oxidative stress. This is a product of lipid peroxidation. You'll see again there is a marked striking change in the amount of oxidative stress in this area. In, th in this area. Excuse me, Dr. Wong. Can I just, I wanted to ask a question or make a comment. These, these comparisons are 